everybody, Cynthia Maynard here, and uh, you know, we all love to give gifts and gift bags. I'm, I'm not the best wrapper of boxed presents, so I really like a gift bag. But sometimes, you know, you want it a little more personal than that sort of generic dollar store gift bag that we tend to get. So, um, you know, what's nice about these craft bags is you can kind of design them how you want. So I embossed um, these stamps on here like that. So I put one of these in every corner and just rotated it. And uh, I put her, this is a Diane Reevely, um Dilution stamp. And I put her in the middle and I just think that looks really cool. It's got a nice little shimmer to it. And it's a fun way to dress up a bag. Now this is just was a really simple version. And I thought I would show that today on a little bit smaller of a bag. Um, and I really like this. This is the large stamp set of Diane Reedley's with the fashion, the couture um, girl. I also have the smaller one, and I got these at Tuesday morning for like $2.99, which was an absolute like Christmas present. So, um, yeah. So I thought maybe I'd put her here, and I thought I would use my um, Simon Says Stamp July uh, 2016 stamp set, uh, handwritten florals. I'm going to use some of these floral elements to kind of decorate the corner. And then in the bottom, I was going to take this stamp set that I have that I can never remember where it's from, <laughs> but I was going to put the with love kind of right down in here. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. You need, of course, excuse my voice, I'm trying to really defeat this, this virus we all got is just <clears throat> not leaving anytime soon, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I feel better, but my voice is bleh. <laughs> we just need our Versamark ink and some embossing powder. I'm going to use some Recollections uh, in charcoal, and it's the sort of black and glitter, and I thought that would go really nicely with our sort of fashionable bag. So I'm going to go ahead and do her first, because obviously she's the main focal point, and she's my embossing buddy there real quick. Surprisingly, I remember. Sometimes you got to improvise a little. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and ink her up. Nice sticky ink. The string in here, you just want to make sure, because it's an uneven surface, that you're stamping completely down on that. Alright, looks like we got it. Thing underneath here to catch our embossing powder. I don't know where my bigger one is, so I'm just going to have to use this. Alright. I'll just do it in parts. Legs. You get any extra where you don't want it. And you simply remove it. Alright, just like so. Alright, so we've got that nice and heat set. It's so pretty. And I'm going to go ahead and do this with love down here at the bottom. Grab my black back. Again, with that. Now you could just stamp directly on this. You don't have to heat emboss. Uh, that would look perfectly wonderful. Um, I like the little extra glitter and raised uh, element that the heat embossing gives. You know, sometimes people are like, ah, you just shoved it in the bag. But, you know, I mean, when you do this to it, I mean, it's like decorating a card, you know, for them. It's a little something special. So with our stamp set, we can go ahead and kind of decorate the corners up here a little bit. We'll utilize this nice big flower. And from it we'll have a few things coming off there. have to smash those ropes are right there.
Okay, so this is what we've got so far. Um, I'm going to bring in a different flower. I feel like it needs something viney. So, I'm going to look at my stamps. Okay, so I'm going to use this one from the stamp set. It's got a vine, a couple vines and some flowers. So, I'm going to go ahead and put that. We need something over here. Just something simple. Ugh, I have a major stamping problems. And then something, I think, coming out of this up here. And so if you feel like it's uneven, you can go ahead and reach in and make sure that that's making contact with the paper there. So just again, because of these ropes come all the way down to here. So, you know. Of course, I was bragging about using my embossing buddy, and now I've forgotten to use it every single time. Hence, so, <laughs> I don't know, you know, <laughs> what can I say? Hey, for paintbrushes, okay. So there you have it. You have a fun uh, bag. You could, you know, put some... Uh, some ribbon on there, maybe some nice pink ribbon would be fun, like a Chanel pink, you know, and this just kind of has a nice flowery feel about it, and um, I like it. It's kind of fun. And then when you put your gifts in there, you can see it doesn't come through, so it's nice and dry in there, and then it just has this nice, nice little couture feeling, the glitter and everything. I don't know. It's just fun. Something to do with some cheap bags, right? And you can save a lot of money. You can buy a pack. Usually they come like in a pack of three. Again, um, with the larger size, you can do it as well. Um, like I did with this one. This one's quite a bit larger. Um, and you can customize it for a boy, a girl, Father's Day, Mother's Day, whatever. You can do some stamping right on there. So that's kind of fun. Yeah. So go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Just hit that subscribe button and that way you can stay in the loop for all the new videos that come several times a week. And um, yeah, thanks so much for spending your time with me and have a great, great day.